the night when the full moon is bright comes a horseman known as Zorro. His bold renegade carves a Z with his blade, a Z that stands for Zorro. Zorro, the fox so cunning and free. The sign of the sea. Will you speak, miserable wretch? Where are the others hiding? Ben lashes more. Forgive me, Commandante, but this Indian will die before he betrays his own people. You oh, think so, huh? All right, leave me alone with him. Please, for your own sake, tell the Capitan what he wishes to know. That donkey brain of a sergeant is right. You would die before revealing any information. But I want no information from you. Only your silence. You have a family. You want to see them again? I'm going to take you back to the mission. I shall tell that stubborn padre a few harmless tales. If you deny them, if you so much as open your mouth in protest, you will never see your family again, understand? Sergeant Garcia, the prisoner has just made a full confession. Yes? Order the Lancers out. You ride to the mission immediately, and have them prepared for combat. Combat? Full fighting equipment, Baboso. We ride for king and country. Yes, Capitan. Lancers, we can report immediately! No, Bernardo, you've got to try harder. I never yet knew a Spaniard who couldn't learn how to play the guitar. Now, watch here. The fingers here, huh? You try it. Here, we sit down. It's easier. Here. <laughs> now, you mustn't give up. If you're ever going to cover for me when I'm out riding a Zorro, it must sound as if I'm here practicing. Now, go on. You'll get it. Never mind. I must ride to the mission to make sure that Don Nacho got away safely. Now you just keep practicing, eh? I'm so glad it is you. I was afraid Captain Monastario might have returned. Are your Indians still hiding in the hills? Yes, but they'll come back when the danger is over. Has Don Nacho left? Not yet. I'm keeping him here until everything is safe. You may come out, Don Nacho. It is Diego de la Vega. Diego, my friend, good to see you. I don't believe you should wait too long to set up for Monterrey, Don Nacho. Quick, get back into the church. Sergeant Garcia, all sentries on every side. Give a sharp watch. If you see anything suspicious, tell the men to shoot first and then ask questions. See, Capitan. Ortega, bring the prisoner and come with me. Yes, sir. Well, Surround the church. See what? See that no one escapes. You don't suppose they've come to take Don Nacho by force? It appears that way. Buenos dias, Padre. Senor de la Vega? I suppose you have returned with a new trick to break the law of sanctuary. Not at all. I've returned to protect church property and your lives. Against what? Against a surprise attack by the hostile Indians. But there are no hostile Indians here. They're all just like my children. You think so? Ortega, the prisoner. What have they done to you, Innocente? Be careful, Padre. This is a dangerous savage. He has just confessed that he and his people are planning to burn the mission and kill you. But that's impossible. Tell them what you have told me. Tell them. Are your people have planned revenge for a long time? Or they mean to strike under cover of darkness? That's not true. Speak up, Innocente. Do not be afraid. Did you not admit that your leaders are planning to wipe out the whites in all the missions? You see, he dare not deny it. I have no choice but to place this mission under martial law. A shabby trick, Capitan Monastario. On the contrary, I'm merely performing my duty. You are beloved by all the people. I cannot risk leaving you unprotected when there is danger of a bloody massacre. Ortega, take the prisoner away. 
and guard him well. Padre, I formally declare this mission to be under my personal military command. You will provide sustenance and shelter for my lancers while they are stationed here to protect you. And now, if you please, I shall select a private room for my headquarters. Sergeant Garcia, bring two guards and come with me. Excuse me, Padre. Padre, we must obey orders. Forgive me. It is quite obvious what the Comandante has in mind. Unable to get Don Nacho any other way, he now invents a false Indian uprising as an excuse to take over the mission. But as long as Don Nacho remains in church, he's still protected by sanctuary. True, but Captain Monastario will keep him here. But how long can Don Nacho live without food or water? Vile they see. I will speak to my father. He has a knowledge of the law. Perhaps we will find out that Monastario has no legal right to use military force in this case. Adios, Padre. just as well. Monastario and his lances have taken possession of the mission. They intend to start Don Nacho in a sanctuary. Tonight, you must lock yourself in my room and play the guitar as well as you can. Yes, and I must be back before my father misses me. Now go to the kitchen and have the cook prepare plenty of food for my saddlebag. Everything is quiet, Sorrento. Very well. I will relieve you while you have something to eat. One moment, Padre. You cannot keep me from going into my own church. I have no wish to stop you. However, Padre, I cannot allow you to take food and drink to a traitor. Very appetizing. I think I will enjoy this. You are heartless. At least let me take the water to quench Don Nacho's thirst. Let him drink the holy water. I trust there will be a specially warm place reserved for you in the hereafter. They will not allow me to bring anything to you. I am not hungry, Padre. But you must be thirsty. You have had nothing since early this morning. It does not matter. But there must be a way in which I could at least get water to you. Please, Padre, do not endanger yourself. I have caused you so much trouble now. I do not wish to cause more. Are you dozing? Oh, oh no, Capitan. I, I was keeping a sharp lookout for Indians. You know the penalty for sleeping on duty? Sleep, sí, not But I was not sleeping. I was waiting for Private Ortega. Has Torres tried to get out or beg for water yet? Oh, no, sir. Everything has been quiet. Give it that way. And stay awake. See, sí, Capitan. Watch that door of the church carefully. I suspect Torres may try and escape tonight. 
If he does, give him no quarter. Calm yourself. I'm not smuggling Don Nacho under my robe. Do not despair. He has food and water. Whoever you are, Senor Zorro, gracias. But you should not risk your life again to help me. Zorro! Escape while you can. I will take this. Here, guard him. hard enough to wake the dead. Oh, I'm sorry I didn't hear you, Father. I was busy composing. Composing, you call it? I have never heard anything so terrible. Ah, but it turned out beautifully. Listen. The night wind sighs awake, my love. Please, please, that is enough. I do not wish to be awake. I would like to have some sleep. Well, forgive me, Father. I didn't know that you were in bed. If you got up as early as I do, perhaps you would retire at a decent hour. You're right. Maybe I'll do some reading. I'm afraid I will never be able to understand you, my son. Ever since you have come back from Spain, all you seem to think about is literature, music, painting. My father, that is my life. Just as yours is raising horses and breeding cattle. Yes. Well, everyone to his own taste. Good night, my son. Good night, father. It's close, eh? Yes, Zorro rode to the mission tonight on his errand of mercy, but Bonastario won. There were too many soldiers. They nearly caught me. Poor Don Nacho is going to have to suffer a while longer. The fox must use his wits next time, not his fangs. When Zorro rides again, he's going to have help. Your help. Horsemen approaching from the land! 
Alto! Who goes there? It is only I, Diego de la Vega. Come to see Padre Felipe. You must get permission first. Very well. Where's the Comandante? Sleeping. He was up all night chasing that elusive fox called Zorro. Sergeant Garcia is in charge. Where shall I find him? This mountain be searched and I shall take you to him. Senor de la Vega requests permission to see the priest, sir. Purpose of visit? I have an old manuscript here that Padre Felipe expressed a desire to see. Back to your post. <clears throat> well, Don Diego, may I see this document? Certainly. What is this secret writing? Oh, that is Latin, Sergeant. Of course I know it's Latin. What does it say? Oh, uh, I don't think you'd be interested. It's just an account of something rather strange that happened here many years ago. Strange? What was it? Well, some fanciful traveler's tale. You know how ghost stories turn into legends. Oh. Ghost stories? There's probably little basis for truth in it, but you see, this parchment seems authentic enough, and that's why Padre Felipe wished to examine it. Well, uh, tell me about it. All right. It seems that when this mission was built back in 1771, a band of savages struck in the dead of night. They captured an unfortunate monk and they tortured him until he went mad. He was tied to this very tree. Oh, of course, it was much smaller then. Ever since then, the legend goes, his ghost has haunted the mission on dark, moonless nights. The ghost of the mad monk? I'm surprised you never heard of it, Sergeant. The mission Indians claim to have seen it. But you know, of course, they're superstitious natives. <laughs> well, what do they think they saw? A figure, a figure in a cowled robe, rising from the graves behind the church. Then it moves along the corridors, moaning and clanking chains, sometimes emitting a ghoulish laugh. Oh, the rest is so fantastic, I don't think you'd be interested. No, go on, Don Diego, please go on. It's really quite frightening. You promise you won't tell anyone? I, I promise. Well, the legend says that when the spirit walks, the church bell rings mysteriously at midnight. It is regarded as a warning of some dire event to come. A warning? An omen of death, like the hoot of an owl. Of course, you're much too enlightened to believe in those things. Oh, yes. <laughs> what happens then? Well, the story goes on to say how the author came face to face with the mad monk one night under this very tree. This tree? And the ghost had no face. No face? No face. Uh... And then suddenly, the ghastly apparition vanished. And here the narrative ends abruptly. Except that the next morning, the ancient scribe was found lying here where you are. Stiff and stark. Dead? Exceedingly so. A lancer to... <laughs> oh, Padre, I have this manuscript you requested. Manuscript? Come, let us go in your garden now and we will discuss it. What about this manuscript? Nothing, just a pretext to get you alone. How's Don Nacho? Like Elijah in the wilderness and no ravens to feed him. Oh, and the Indian, Innocente? Oh, he's still a prisoner locked up in the stone bodega behind the pepper tree. Padre, do you believe in intuition? Oh, I suppose I do. What does the, the goblin riding on your shoulder tell you? That his reign of terror will come to an end soon. Oremus. Oremus? Let us pray. Por favor, Sargento, you told the others about the ghost of the mad monk. Why not me? It is a foolish tale for, for old women and children. But I like tales like that. You promise not to be frightened. Me, Sargento? I am a soldier. Well, it, uh, it seems that when the church bell rings mysteriously at midnight, the phantom rises from its grave. It is almost midnight now. It, it is. <laughs> uh, anyway, I, I am too enlightened to believe in such nonsense. Tell me what happens. I'm getting goose flesh already. Uh, well, uh, the figure walks through the corridors, groaning and clanking chains. It, sometimes it laughs ghoulishly. What is ghoulishly? Well, he's like a ghoul, stupid. Contreras, why did you sound the alarm? I did not ring the bell, Sergeant. Someone did. Who is up there with you? No one, sir. It, 
It rang by itself. It, it rang again. There's something morning in the cemetery. Private Ortega, you go see what it is. Officer should lead, sir. Very well, we, we will go together. I see nothing. Look! that bell. Well, answer me. We just saw the ghost. Ghost? What ghost? The ghost of the mad monk, sir. It, it, it had no face. Ah, oh, phantoms of ghosts not exist. Ortega remain on guard. You, show me where this ghost is. There, see for yourself. Yeah! Answer him. Yeah! Were you walking in the cemetery just now, Padre? No, I was asleep. The ringing of the bell wakened me. Then go back to bed. Someone is playing tricks on us. And I think I know who it is. Just disappear in thin air. The legend says he does. Legend? What legend? The omen of death. The curse has come through. He is dead. Gracias, señor Zorro. Safe, Padre? Positive. Every soldier has deserted and I brought the Comandante into the night. So come and dine in peace before you set out for Monterrey. Uh, tell me, Padre, what frightened them away? A small miracle that I strongly attribute to someone called Sorrow. Be with us next week as Monastario continues his efforts to become the richest man in California. Watch the battle of wits between Diego and the greedy Comandante. Laugh as Diego scuttles Garcia in the wine cellar. 
thrill as Zorro rides to the rescue of the innocent. Next week, when the Walt Disney Studio brings you another action-packed adventure of Zorro.